One of the things that my father said to me early on was, you're not above anybody, but you're also not below anybody. And I took that as, I can walk into any room and I, I have a voice and I can be heard, and, and you know, especially if it's something I'm passionate about. I walked into a lot of rooms where I was the youngest, I was the only female, or I was the, especially a lot of times the only person of color. And it's not easy, but if you're, if you're standing up for something that you believe in, you just do it. I grew up in an era of a lot of firsts, you know, for women's rights, for um, African Americans, and, you know, what I call the revolution in this country. You know, I just always had this knack to want to be involved and, you know, volunteer, and, you know, <laughs> you just always wanted to be in the forefront, anything, especially community-based. But I think public service for me started early on with Girl Scouts. Uh, we used to raise money to be able to give to charity. We raised money to be able to go um, camping, what have you, but that did something for me. I really liked volunteering and being involved. Some of my first jobs then just happened to start to be in kind of public service background with property management and then going on to Franklin Marshall College and working in auxiliary services and getting to work with so many students who then, you know, then I got started volunteering with the YWCA and eventually became city councilwoman. And so it just was instinctively in my DNA, I think, because I'm so blessed to be able to have a position right now where, you know, I'm working every day, but it involves uplifting people and empowering people. And that's, that's the best. I'm so passionate about the Lancaster City Housing Authority. What we do is, you know, we house people bricks and mortar. But when I took over the position, my goal and my hope is to do more than that. I want to make sure that we're not only just housing people, but we're empowering them. So for our seniors, that means we're making sure that they are comfortable, safe and secure, and they have all the benefits they need, whether for social services or health care. For our family sites, I am so driven and passionate about making sure that not just providing housing, but also that we are connecting them to the services they need, whether it be job skills, it's education, it's budgeting, it's home ownership. I want people to start to see this as a foundation so that we can uplift you, move you on, and then bring somebody else in and give them the opportunity to be able to do the same. One of the sayings right now is I don't look like what I've been through in order for others to come behind me. I've put up with a lot to have doors open for others that are coming behind me. And that's okay as long as those doors continue to open and women feel more confident and independent and secure in themselves. If I, if I had any part in that, that's, that's beautiful. At the end of the day, if you've helped one person, and we all have the opportunity to do that, it's just the best feeling. I mean, it just helps to keep me balanced and grounded, and I'm just so humbled and grateful to be able to be that person that can do that for people.